Many thanks for choosing us. The Ministry of National Security is discouraging the inundation of calls to the emergency center in the wake of the See Something, Say Something campaign by the public with fake calls. The recently launched campaign seeks to put the public on high alert to report suspicious characters in the wake of terrorism activities. But the ministry is worried that over 10,000 prank calls have been recorded since the call center's contact was announced in the past 30 hours. This was contained in a statement issued by the ministry. Let's look at excerpts of the statements and the Ministry of National Security expresses its appreciation to Ghanaian public and in particular the media for supporting the citizen awareness campaign, see something, say something. Now, preliminary checks at the emergency call center indicate that in the first 30 hours following the launch of the campaign, over 10,000 calls have been made to the center, of which majority have been prank calls and calls to verify the operationality of the call line, a development that has culminated in long call queues and delayed response to calls made to the center. While the ministry assures the public of the achievements, activeness of the call center and encourages him to report all suspicious persons and behavior, we beseech all and sundry to desist from making prank calls to the center as doing so undermines the ability of law enforcement agencies to effectively respond to the actual crisis. The Ministry of National Security assures the general public of its continued collaboration with all relevant agencies and stakeholders to safeguard the peace and security of our dear country, Ghana. And it's hashtag say something, see something, say something. Now, Information Minister Kojo Ponkroma at the launch of the campaign on Tuesday, May 24, warned persons found capable will be dealt with according to the law. In this country, that deal with the publication of false news with the intent of causing panic and fear. Those laws are still on our statute books, and especially at this time, when we are trying to get credible information out, we will not hesitate to use those laws uh, if persons are found culpable of deliberately misinforming the public with the uh, objective of causing panic and fear. We need to get that out of the window so that people can hear and see what the facts are, particularly on the subject of terrorism and how they can respond and participate in this uh, anti-terrorism program.